Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about sublimation, can koozies, and a variety of ways to make those. So I'm going to use a wide variety of blanks as well as a wide variety of methods to show you the best method and let you kind of pick and choose which method will work for your project. So we are going to use just Amazon neoprene sublimation can koozies, super inexpensive. We're going to use sublimation can koozies, including a gorgeous sublinen linen version. That is, makes great, amazing gift ideas. They're one of my favorites. We're going to do full wrap can koozies, including a Velcro version with a cute photo. And then I'm going to do some other full wrap versions, including a foolproof method for making full wrap sublimation koozies with no seam at all. And yes, I did say no seam. So if you've ever struggled with sublimation koozies before, tape marks is one common issue. I have solutions for you in this video. So let's head and take a look at the supplies we're gonna use for this project, and then a few different methods for sublimating on can koozies. Supplies you're gonna need are as follows. So you will need sublimation prints. So these are sublimation ink printed on sublimation paper out of a sublimation printer. And we're gonna do a wide variety of things. I have photos in here, I have patterns, I have just little sayings. We're gonna do a wide variety kind of showing you what works and what does not work. Protective paper, then your koozies. So these can be made for sublimation. Some of these are made for sublimation. We're gonna do some of those. You can also just get regular polyester koozies that don't have anything on them on Amazon. And I'm gonna show you a couple different colors here so you can see what the colors are going to do to your sublimation. And then you'll need heat resistant gloves, a lint roller, and then heat resistant tape or something like this adhesive spray. And I'm gonna show you why you might want to choose the adhesive spray and some alternatives if you don't wanna use the adhesive spray and only want to use the tape. So we're gonna kind of walk through all of the options here and what you can use when sublimating on can koozies. So first is the just polyester koozies from Amazon. Most koozies that you see are gonna be made from polyester. So technically I can sublimate on any of these. And you can buy huge lots for a really cheap price. Now I am gonna do a couple different colors so you can see if you choose a color what will happen. We are gonna do some white ones over here. So if you choose white in this version, you'll kinda of see the results with what we're gonna get over here. These are all from Condi and I will leave links to them below. So these versions wrap around your can and use Velcro to secure. And they have a couple different options. One is like a white foam, and then this is an off-white sublo linen, which does give a nicer feel. Both of these sublimate in the same way. I'm gonna do one of them. However, both would be the same. This is a very easy way to get a full wrap koozie without any issue, right? So it lays flat in the press. I can sublimate an entire picture across it without any issue, then wrap it around my can, secure it with Velcro, not any issues at all with seams. Then Condi also carries, I do think they carry this type of koozie, but they have the sublo linen, so it's kind of just a nicer version for gifts. And they do carry it in this version that's already sewn at the sides. And then I do wanna show you this version here. So this is just, this koozie right here is sewn down both sides. If you were to buy this in flat, it would look like this. So we can sublimate this whole thing flat without getting any seams. Then we can fold it in half, right sides together so the black would be out, sew down the side, turn it right side out, and we would have a koozie that is probably perfectly sublimated without a ton of effort. And what I'm gonna do is try to sublimate one of these with a full wrap design and show you the result I get with this versus what I would get with something like this that would lay flat. That way you can see the differences and see if this version is for you. None of these versions are wrong. None of them are incorrect. You could sublimate on any of them. It just depends on like the look you want as far as like the sublinen. Do you wanna make it easy to do a full wrap with these ones that just have the Velcro? Do you just wanna design on the front and want something inexpensive like these? Or do you wanna do a full wrap add the sewing element to it. Whatever option you choose is not wrong. It's just gonna be personal preference and probably the project you are working on. 
So with any of these, the process for sublimation is gonna be relatively the same. So let's sublimate on one of these just so we can get the process down. For my example, I'm gonna use this supple linen can koozie. I have a print to go on both sides, but it's just gonna be kind of in the center here. And I am gonna use heat resistant tape for this version. We will go over some other options later in the video. I did wanna note here that I preheated each of these blanks before I continued with the process. It is extremely important to preheat the blanks and I'm preheating both sides of this one here. Preheat the blanks for about 10 seconds on both sides if you're sublimating on both sides. Koozies have a tendency to shrink and cause ghosting. So any of these, I would preheat them before I continued on with the process. So we're just gonna clean both sides with a lint roller. And then I'm gonna add both these at the same time and I'm just gonna kind of flip it in the press. Now you can, to reduce any marks that might be from your paper, you can rip the sides. I find with this linen surface that I don't really get press marks, but press marks are definitely going to be an issue with the foam version of these. And we are going to talk about how to get around that other options besides just the tearing of the paper. So I am gonna go ahead and tear the paper just for illustration purposes and put that on both sides of this koozie. And then I'm just gonna kind of center this design up. Again, this is mirrored. So you do wanna mirror your sublimation print. And I'm just gonna kind of center it up and I'm gonna use a couple of pieces of heat resistant tape to hold that into place. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and add this to the other side as well. So now my design is on both sides and we are gonna put protective paper on both sides to protect the heat press. And now we're going to sublimate this koozie. So I'm putting it in the press with protective paper on both sides and sublimating both sides. I'm gonna sublimate one side and then flip it over and sublimate the second side. I put it in the press, close the press, let it heat for the full time at the full temperature. Now for this sublinen koozie, that is 400 degrees for 60 seconds. The temp time and temperature will vary depending on what type of koozie that you are sublimating. Then I flipped it over and again sublimated full time, full temperature, so 400 degrees, 60 seconds again. Then removed it from the press and I am gonna allow it to cool here. You could peel this off hot if you wanted to. So here's that supple linen removed from the press and we can kind of peel this back and take a look at this gorgeous sublimation print. So this did such a good job. You may worry about these seams, but I didn't even put anything on the inside and the auto press did a great job. So I will say if you're using another heat press about medium pressure, and if you're using the easy press, be sure just to press down. If you wanted to stick a pressing pillow inside of this, it might raise up that center a little bit, but this one looks really great even without me doing that. So I do love this supple linen version for gifts. I just think it's a nicer feel. Now you will notice on the supple linen version, even though I use the tape, there isn't any tape marks. So that's kind of the benefit of using the supple linen product. So now let's take a look at sublimating even more koozies. The first few I'm gonna do are those ones from Amazon. And of course these aren't made for sublimation. They are just like a neoprene koozie. That is 100% polyester. So I did need to kind of guess at the time and temperature here but I did find a reference at 385 degrees for 50 seconds, and that's what I'm gonna use for all these Amazon versions. The first version, I just cut the sublimation print and taped it down. This is the one we'll look at for tape marks so I can show you what that looks like. The second version, I ripped the edges, and I used the Ditrans Pro Spray, which is an adhesive spray. So just put the sublimation print down inside of a box and lightly spritz the print, allow that print to dry and it will be tacky. And then I just put that onto the koozie. So you can see I ripped the edges and I did not use any tape on this version. Again, I'm sublimating for th at 385 degrees for 50 seconds. For all of these, I followed the same procedures I did for the first one, as far as preheating, lint rolling, applying my print, and using protective paper. For this next one, I'm using a full sheet of sublimation, even though I'm just sublimating a small area. And this is so I can show you what a difference this makes as far as the tape marks. If you can make your sublimation prints big for these neoprene koozies, you will see a huge difference. The next one I'm gonna try for a full wrap design on just one of those Amazon koozies just so I can show you what it looks like around the edges and how the edges really won't look great with this method. However, on this next version, this is our flat version. I, again, I'm gonna do a full bleed sublimation print all the way to the edges. And with this flat version, we should get a fairly good sublimation print. 
For this flat koozie, it's 385 degrees for 60 seconds. And finally, I'm doing one of the flat ones with a photo. And this is one of the ones with the Velcro wrap. I made my sublimation print oversized so it hangs off the edges. So you might see it a little bit on the black edges of this sublinen koozie, but for me that really doesn't matter and I think it looks good either way. The sublinen version of the Velcro is 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I would check the time and temperature though because I noticed that the neoprene version of the Velcro was 400 degrees for 65 seconds. So we're gonna do all three of these here so I can kind of show you the differences in the color as well as tape marks. So this version I just cut the sublimation print and I used tape and probably an excessive amount of tape just to prove my point here. So you can definitely see where the sublimation print was and you can also see where the tape was. So hopefully you can see that on camera. So now for this version where I use the adhesive spray, we can just peel the sublimation print off. It should come off fairly easily, but it should be stuck really well to the surface. So I just pull it off slowly and anywhere it starts to rip like this, you can use your fingernail. You could also wet it and it would just come right off. So I did want to note on this one, you can still see where the print is. So while I didn't use any tape and there aren't any tape marks, you could still see where the print was on the koozie. So let's look at the third option. For this option, I taped the koozie down and I put this same print in the center of this huge piece of sublimation paper. That's a little extreme, but I wanted to illustrate if you made your print where it completely covered the koozie and your sublimation image is in the middle, you can tape just to the back here. So when I remove this tape from the back, there aren't any tape marks because I wasn't pressing from the back. And I can really add quite a bit of tape down here at the bottom because it's not gonna matter. So no tape marks where the tape was, and then I can turn it over. And I have my sublimation print with no press marks at all. So then you get a koozie with no press marks at all because there was not any tape on the front, there wasn't any sublimation print, this is the way I prefer to do a neoprene koozie. For this version, I went a little bit extreme and I just put it in the center. But you could definitely do, say, two koozies per sheet of paper. Just make sure that the paper would be completely on the front. And you may see that as a waste of paper, but I see it as a gorgeous sublimation koozie without any press marks. I did want to use this to also illustrate how the colors alter on different colors koozies. So if this koozie was white, I would get a completely different look. And you can tell I get a completely different look between the orange and the blue. So keep that in mind if you're gonna order a color that sublimation ink is translucent. So this blue is showing through the ink and altering the color of my print. The same thing is happening to this orange. So these two look completely different although they were exactly the same before I pressed them. So you do need to note that if you're gonna order a color on your canned koozies. This version is that same blue koozie, but I wrapped it completely with a sublimation print. So it has sublimation on all sides. And I kind of cut the print down a little bit so I could trap the image inside. So I just wanted to show you what this looks like. This is an option for doing a full wrap. However, looks good on this side looks great on that side. But when you pull this apart and look at the seams on this version, you will see there's a line where there is no sublimation print. And I think you can especially see it on this side. There is no sublimation print there down the center. So while it looks pretty good, um, it it is not perfect. And heating these this much really flattens them out. So with this version, of course, I just heated from one side. And so the koozie itself still retains some of that foam feel. You lose more of that pressing from both sides and heating it as much as you need to do to do this full wrap type of look with the koozie. So that is why I purchased the flat version to try instead. So here's that flat version. It's face down on my sublimation print, so white side down. And then I could tape as much as I wanted to. So this tapes on the inside, but it's also on the back. And it did not hurt the tape at all and it is still and the foam is still fine so it didn't flatten it at all so i'm just going to remove this and then we can see so this was white before i started and then we have this sort of tan color with the succulents on it for our sublimation print and you can see just how great it looks everywhere so there's no seams there is no issues with the sublimation print itself However, we're gonna need an additional step on this one. So we're gonna put this right side together 
and we're gonna sew down both sides and then turn it right side out. And that's gonna give us the same koozie as before because that's all that's happening with this one is that it's sewn down the sides, but we are gonna have to do the sewing ourselves with this version. So if you wanna do the extra step, this is an amazing way to do a full wrap sublimation koozie. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew down the sides and come back and show you the results. Here's a look at that version where I just sewed up both sides with it inside out and then turned it with the right side out. And now I have a completed koozie. Now this one is sort of rounded after you sew it. So for giving for gifts, um, I mean, I think it would be fine for giving for gifts, but you might wanna keep that into account or for selling. So they would look a little strange because they would kind of look round to me instead of flat. So you might wanna keep that in mind, but otherwise, as far as being a full bleed, Sublimation koozie, this is like the best one I've ever gotten if I don't use the Velcro version. And finally, I did one of the versions with the Velcro, put it face down, and this time I'm doing a photo. And again, you're taping to the back, so you don't have to worry about tape marks with these at all. I do on all of these ones with the Velcro, I make my sublimation image way oversized, so I can tape to the back on all cases on these. And then look at how great that photo looks on that koozie. It looks amazing. This is the sublinen version. Again, I kind of like those a little bit better for the feel, but they do make neoprene versions of these as well. And you would just wrap it around your can, secure the Velcro. And these are actually my favorite for gifts, is the ones with the Velcro. I did want to show you all the options on, in this video, but this one is definitely my favorite for gift ideas. So now all that's left for you to do is to pick your favorite can koozie, pick your favorite method, and give it a try for yourself. I do think this is an amazing beginner project. So if you're beginning to sublimation, these are definitely a project that you could tackle. Given my tips and tricks here, you can pick the can koozie that you like the best, as well as the method you like the best, and get started making your own koozies if you like need some for a party. These make great party favors, wedding favors, another great idea, or just gifts for family and friends, especially if you do photos on a full wrap one. That's one of my favorite gift ideas. I feel like personalized photo gifts are a great use for your sublimation printer, and koozies are a very easy way to do that because like this Velcro version lays flat, super easy to make, and makes an amazing, gorgeous gift idea. Everyone will wanna know how you did it. Plus, if you wanna get into products to sell, can koozies will be a great place to do that. So if you have any questions about anything we've covered, please ask us in the comment section below. If you like this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.